What's up guys, welcome to A1 in a Box. Now iOS 11 just came out and there are a ton of new features. I know there are already a lot of videos highlighting them, so I just want to mention some of my favorites. First up of course is that sweet control center. It's made up of toggles, but it's very customizable. So you can put as many or as little toggles as you need. So you can force touch some of them to bring up extra options. Now one thing I do like is the fact that the volume control is the media volume and not the ringer volume. So you can be sure whether or not your video will be playing at full blast in the classroom or at work. So to customize the control center, you go to settings, control center, and then customize controls. From here, you can remove or add as many toggles as you want. So you can have a bunch of toggles or none. It will just take time for you to know which toggles are most important to you. Next feature is in messages or anything that uses a keyboard. So this feature is called one handed mode. And just like what the name says, you can type with one hand. The keyboard turns into the size of an iPhone 5 keyboard I would say. So typing one handed on a 7 plus is very easy. Now I'm not advocating it, but let's be real. People do text when they drive, so this one handed mode makes it that much more easier. But please don't text and drive. It's not worth getting a crash into. This brings us to the next feature, which is drive mode. This feature lets the iPhone realize it's in a car and then ask you if you want to go into driving mode. What this does is you won't get a notification and a customized response can be used saying you're driving. I haven't used it yet, but I'm sure the notifications will come through once you turn it off. This feature doesn't force you to turn it on or automatically turns on once the phone is in the car. It'll just ask you if you want to. This next feature is something I've always wanted and it's in live photos. You know when you take a live photo and you miss the moment by like a second? And then it's in the video but you can't save that moment? Well now you can. You can just go to edit, hover over which moment you want it at, and then hit make key photo. Now once you do that, there you go. That moment becomes your new photo, which is amazing. You can always go back and change it if you want. But this feature allows people to not worry about taking the perfect shot at the perfect moment. Another feature I really love and think will help people when getting their new iPhones is the mass drag and drop feature. I always hated when getting a new iPhone and all my apps install automatically in a random order. And then you have to drag over each app you want one by one to the home screen. Well now you can drag all of them at once to wherever you want and will push out the apps behind them. I think this will be an underrated feature people will use once they get their new iPhones since they'll have to install all their apps again. And when they do, all the apps will probably install in random pages. These next two features, I don't know how often I'll use them, but they are new changes to the OS. The first is the Files app. This allows you to organize and place certain things in certain folders now. So once you sync to your Mac or MacBook, it'll all be there in that folder now directly from your phone. The last feature I want to talk about is Siri. Siri is more human-like now and can even translate different languages for you such as this. How do you say food in Korean? I can't translate into Korean yet, but I can translate into French, German, Italian, Mandarin Chinese, and Spanish. How do you say food in Italian? Chibo. Chibo. Well, maybe not in Korean yet, but I'm sure Apple will add more languages in the future. And they added a male voice. I never really used Siri in the past, but that may change with the new OS. I know there are a ton more features in the new OS, but these are just my favorite so far. When I review the iPhone 8 and iPhone 10, I may find new ones, but for now, these are my favorite. Hope this helped you guys. If it did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, peace. Active life.